All right, so for Silo 2021.3, we've added a new tool called the Array Replicator. Uh, that lives in the Create menu here next to the Chain Replicator, which is the feature we added last time. It was called Repeat Object, uh, but we renamed it because these two are uh, similar, um, but with some different functionality. So the Array Replicator, you can select an object and hit Create and it will arrange that object by duplicating it many times and putting it in the grid you specify. So here we set a grid size of five and by one by five, so it made a five by one by five grid. Um, it stays active, so I can change these in real time. Until I select something else, it will say live update active. Um, and these changes will be reflected in real time. Uh, it doesn't just work on single shapes. Let me undo that. Uh, you can also select all of these. Maybe let's go with 10, 1, 10, create. We've got a randomly generated array of multiple objects. Um, and then what we've added are a bunch of sliders to play around with these. So for instance, the position randomness uh, lets you send them up into space, move them around. Um, scale randomness probably won't look amazing with these ships, but uh, you can see it's doing different ships by different amounts. Rotation randomness is very handy for these. Uh, some pitch, yaw, and roll going on here for quite the chaotic space battle. Um, and again, we can add more of these if we want just by turning up the size of the grid. And we can uh, use the grid spacing itself to, so if these were not randomized, you can see we've actually got our original sort of grid here and the grid spacing changes the dimensions or uh, stretches and scales the dimensions of that grid. And that's based on this grid max spacing here. So maximum will be 10 out and then it scales all the way down to zero for little ship clusters. Uh, all right, so let's take a look at another example here. Um, I'm going to create custom primitive palm morph. So this is our blend shape palm tree. So uh, this is blend shape. Uh, we've set it up here in the blend shape editor to have multiple sliders, which affect it in different ways. Um, and you can randomize those sliders and get a lot of different results. And the Array Replicator will do that for you. It's got an option up here to randomize blend shapes. Uh, let's make this one high. So I can hit Create and get a nice array of different uh, sizes and shapes of uh, palm trees. And then I can move them around again. Whoops, don't want to move them in the Y, probably. Uh, rotation, scale them a bit. Uh, why um, let's give them a little bit of angle so you can see that this is handy to just sort of quickly fill out a scene you could you know then delete some if you want a less square shape although the randomness helps with that um, there's also a reseed here which will uh, just re-roll the random seed and give you a new layout each time So that's basically it. And again, once I've selected something, you can see live update is no longer active. So then I would um, be able to adjust these sliders without uh, affecting these things anymore. But anyway, that's the new array replicator. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. We think we've got a lot of possibilities. Um, again, we're adding features lately that help people um, do things that would take them a long time otherwise or would be arduous to do by hand. So these procedural features are, are pretty handy for that. So as always, you can download Silo at nevercenter.com slash silo or purchase it. And there's a free trial if you haven't tried it out before. And uh, thanks for watching.